Ms. Legalista here, AKA Attorney Sheila. We're going back to the White House. We're going to talk about this. I talked about this briefly in yesterday's video. I think there's been so much focus on actually what was found, but I think there's a bigger issue at play here. Let's go through it all. Yeah. If you haven't been paying attention because you maybe don't care or you have better things to do with your life, drugs were found in the White House and it has been confirmed what that white powder is. And it is exactly what you think it is when you think of something being found in a little baggie. Now, the question is, actually there are a number of questions. First question is, where was the presidential family when all of this was going on, when these people were possibly coming in, tour groups, people who were visiting the West Wing, possibly even staff, maybe vendors, people who are typically vetted way in advance, who may have been coming in and now left their baggie here in the White House. And I can sort of imagine when I'm thinking about people coming through, they say their cubbies there where people who are visiting the White House guests, members of tours, where they leave their cell phones and maybe some other things, I don't know. There are cubbies there. And maybe this sort of fell out. So we know it was in that area, but we're not exactly sure where it was in that area. For instance, was it on a table? Was it on the floor? Had it fallen on another piece of furniture? We don't know any of those details. We only know that the Secret Service found it during one of its routine searches. But how did it even get that far? That's one of the questions that is still sort of bothering me. Because you go through a vetting process to get in, you go through all kinds of searches as you're allowed onto the property. So how did this make it in and the fact that it made it in think about that this could have been way worse than just a baggie of drugs being found in the white house this could have been much worse imagine for a moment that this was some party who had the intent to do harm to people in the white house or to our governmental structure and yet this person was able to get in how did this not get caught Aside from the fact that I don't know why you'd leave the house thinking that I'm going to the White House, I'm just going to take this with me, I'm going to have this in my pocket, maybe the person forgot, but you know you're going to the White House and you're going to have to empty your pockets. So I'm still trying to wrap my head around that one. But I want to put that person aside for a second. We know that that person, if found, could possibly be facing a misdemeanor charge which should be interesting because it's going to have to be some evidence that really connects this person to the baggie. But my biggest concern here is that this could possibly be categorized as a breach in security at the White House. And nobody's really talking about it from that respect. There are lots of jokes going on. My daughter tells me about what she sees on Reddit. You know, you can make a light of it and sort of laugh it off and have a few jokes and that is fine. But there is a bigger issue here. And I think the Secret Service recognizes this more than any of us, which is why they're trying to maybe find this person and figure out what was the process that fell apart? Because that's essentially what happened. The process, the security process, the detail, whoever is responsible, whoever was on duty that day and in charge, that person is likely under a lot of scrutiny right now, having to answer a lot of questions. How was this able to get into the White House? How was this able to get into the West Wing? How was this able to get into the building where the presidential family is? How does this happen? So I can imagine they're going to be more focused and more determined on getting that person, not because of possible criminal charges that the person may face, but because there are all of these other unanswered questions. How did this happen? And if they cannot figure that piece out, then what if it happens again? And I think that's the piece that no one's really talking about, that they're not really saying it and maybe it's because they don't want to draw attention to that but this really is less about drugs being found in the white house and it's more about 
a breach in security and what that means in terms of us having a White House that is secure, especially after so many things have gone on the last couple of years. So let me know in the comments if you think this is about drugs or if you think this is about security, because I think this is more of a security issue than anything. Let me know. Hope this brings you up to speed in regards to what is going on and what the real question is, what we really should be asking in terms of what happened. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you can keep up to speed with what is going on with this story as it continues to break. Peace.